So after the recent death of Technoblade, people have found a new Robux money glitch and involved using a beloved YouTuber's death. And frankly, it's just fucking disgusting. This isn't anything new, people are using someone's death as a means to make money. There was a couple's channel that sadly had a miscarriage and they made a Q&A video about it and had placed hundreds of ads every few seconds and at that point it was just completely milking a horrible situation. There's a commentary channel out there who's exploiting a death who is also a money hungry liar and a hypocrite and somehow makes shittier content than mine. When I saw this video, all I thought to myself was, this is a joke, right? But after watching some of his content, I do really believe he thinks he's better than all of these other YouTubers, who mind you, are doing the exact same thing as him, and he is quote unquote exposing them for. Dream SMP official, and you know that they like lie in their videos and just show some false stuff about techno, and that literally their whole channel has been just transferred into compilations of uh, people saying goodbye to Technoblade, which I really do not support. It is really just just kind of scummy to make one minute videos showing one or two tweets and getting over like 20 million views from that. That's actually kind of crazy. Yeah, it's. Uh that you didn't find the method first and he made a video called mr beast says goodbye to technoblade so i i really checked it out and he, he was just completely lying and it's actually disgusting so yeah let's just check it out so if we go here he first off shows a tweet saying technoblade crying emojis cry bro from mr beast apparently so let's see if mr beast said any of this on twitter oh wow what a surprise. He, he didn't say any of this. You are the last person to talk about lying. You clickbait worse than him. Stop trying to act all high and mighty. We can see through your lies. People's sufferings about Technoblade. It's it's crazy. Like, sure, you can upload videos about him, like commentary, like some information or something like that. Jesus, and you can see him try to defend his own videos. Yeah, you can make commentary videos about him. It's fine. Just posting some information about him. It's fucking hilarious. That, and actually donate the money to charity. All of it. Like, like I do. I will do it. And I will make a video or a stream about it. But this guy, it just puts a massive disclaimer in the start and it's a fake disclaimer he will not donate any of the money as we can see in this email and then just grabs the money and dips and a lot of these people are just not making any videos about this specific channel because this channel just ignores any criticism those commentary people want content so they go after me i am the bad guy for doing good shit right this this guy is, is he's a good guy right he's a good guy oh now i can see your true fucking intention you just want all the blame shifted to that channel you're a fucking snake. And who's, who's calling him a good guy? You are both shitty and scummy people. <sighs> Next video. So recently, I saw something very funny on Twitter. And it's just absolutely hilarious to me. And the person who got banned is It's Owen. You know, you probably know this channel just full of clickbait. Just complete, insanely horrible content. And sometimes I clickbait, you know. I consider myself as a pretty bad YouTuber when it comes to like kind of clickbaiting some titles. But I don't clickbait stuff like that. And I don't clickbait so insanely much as you do. I Did you fucking hear hit your head you both make the same content only he's more successful than you i literally and if i do clickbait it's very very harmless clickbait like it's i'm not really spreading lies or spreading misinformation like you did and what you have been doing for the past years I um i've seen your videos and 90% of them are just you spreading lies. I feel like this ban is just 100% justified and he should have been terminated a while ago. I well, that's funny. I have the same feeling for you. He makes exposed videos about different YouTubers and it's complete shit. And you're probably saying, wait, aren't you an exposed channel who talks about different YouTubers? And I'd say, yeah, you are 100% right. We both make the same content, but here's the thing, he's an absolute scumbag when it comes to making this type of content. I make exposed videos about people who actually deserve it, like the Prince family, the royalty family, and obviously I mean the parents, not the children. He just grabs a trending YouTuber and tries to find any bit of breadcrumb of information to quote unquote expose them. And he also clickbaits, and not to mention the fact that uh, he's making a shit ton of videos about a beloved YouTuber's death. Now we get to the apology. 
it's dog shit. Tragedy for views and money, and all of that is some horrible behavior. On YouTube, there are a lot of fake apology videos, from filming a dead body in a forest and not giving a shit about it, to selling bad lipstick and getting your ass beat by your viewers, and to even having sex with your cat and not giving a fuck about it. This man has- This is just downright disrespectful. You use the death to make money and grow your channel, and your way to apologize for it is to make a joke about yourself? Haha, <laughs> Luke, he's being self-aware, that means he's in the right. Not only is this disrespectful towards Technoblade, but his family as well. How shallow of a person can you really fucking be? He's done the unthinkable. He even faked a big donation to a charity and that's how big of a piece of shit he is. But overcome- I- I really have no words. I can insult him all day long. But this fucking kid is just in the deep end. I mean, this massive backlash is hard, and in his tiny brain, it's finally understood that things have consequences. People are mad at this menace for doing all of these things, but this man has understood. He has understood the assignment. Making videos like that is fucked up. And sometimes people can do shit that is utterly unacceptable. The message from this man is clear. He has overcome this stupid behavior and will never replicate this ever again. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Get away from my screen, John Cena! This is not a fake apology video. This man is speaking from heart and has really understood that you can't do shit like this. See you tomorrow, everyone. YouTubers you mentioned in the beginning of the apology video, at least they had somewhat of an apology. At least they had the common decency to fucking apologize. You say you're moving on from this type of content, but I don't know if you realize this, but you're still being a scummy little shit by having no respect towards Technoblade and making making this apology video into a big-ass parody. It's... <sighs>